I'll discuss with you one of the poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Marina by, Sam, by Samuel Taylor Coolidge. This poem is a ballad and it's written in archaic form. Let's start with the poem. It is an ancient marina and he stoppeth one of three by thy long grey beard and glittering eye how there wherefore stop thou me this story is about an old mariner that is a sailor and he stops one of the three people who were passing by and one of them asks him that oh old man with long grey beard and shiny eye why are you stopping me so the marina answers the bridegroom's doors are opened wide and I am next of kin he says that I am here to attend one of my relatives marriage and the bridegroom and the bridegroom doors are open that is he is waiting to be there the guests are met the feast is set and mayest hear the married din so everything is ready the feast is ready and can't you hear the joyous sound? He holds him with his skinny hand. There was a ship caught he. Hold off unhand me grey beard loon. Epsoons his hand dropped he. This mariner holds this person with his skinny, with no skin. That is very skinny hand. And he starts narrating his story to this person that there was a ship caught he hold off and hand me grey beard loon up soon says hand dropped he this person thinks him a very mad person that is a loon person and he says that you please unhand me hold uh, just leave my hand up soon says hand drop thee and very soon he leaves his hand he holds him with his glittering eye the wedding guest stood still and listens like a three years child this marina was still gazing at him he was seeing with to him with his shiny eye the wedding guest stood still and the wedding guest just stayed there and listen to him like a very small child very keenly and this is what this marina wanted that he should listen to him the marina had it will the wedding guest sat on a stone he cannot choose but hear and thus spake on that ancient man the bright eyed marina and this guest that is the person had to sit there and he had to hear his story and so this ancient marina started narrating his story bright eyed that is shiny eyed marina the ship was cheered the harbor cleared merrily did we drop below the kirk below the hill below the lighthouse top he was saying that everything was fine the ship was okay everyone was happy everyone was there harbor was cleared harbor is the port where ships come and go merrily did we drop and we had all been sitting there merrily below the kirk 
बिलो द हिल बिलो द लाइट हाउस टॉप एंड इट वॉज बिलो द कर्क मीन्स चर्च बिलो द हिल बिलो द लाइट हाउस टॉप द शिप वॉज ऑन दिस लोकेशन द सन केम अप अपॉन द लेफ्ट आउट ऑफ द सी केम ही द सन वॉज राइजिंग वॉज हैड कम अप अपॉन द लेफ्ट हैंड एंड वी कुड सी इट आउट ऑफ द सी केम ही एंड ही शोन ब्राइट ही इज द सन द सन शोन ब्राइट एंड ऑन द राइट वेंट डाउन इन टू द सी एंड एट द डस्क द सन हैड सेट इन साइड द सी हायर एंड हायर एवरी डे टिल ओवर द मास्ट न्यू एट नून द वेडिंग गेस्ट हेयर बीट हिज ब्रेस्ट for he heard the loud bassoon so this way the journey was going on until over the mast at noon and till the noon time that is after uh, the sun was going down the wedding guest was listening but all of a sudden he heard a loud bassoon that is the one of the musical instrument was blowing there because it was it was a wedding ceremony which was going on there and musical instrument was blowing so all of a sudden he heard it the bride hath paced into the hall the bride who was getting married was walking pacing inside the hall that is walking inside the hall red as a rose is she nodding the heads before her goes the merry mistrily and everybody was so happy in that ceremony nodding the heads shaking the heads before the bride and the merry mistrily till see that is happily all was singing this all the group of singers and musicians that is mistrily see these were singing the wedding guest he beat his breast yet he cannot choose but hear and thus spake on that ancient man the bright eyed mariner this person who was list there as a guest who was with this mariner he again thought what i uh, I, uh, i was what am i doing standing here but he could not choose but to hear this marina and thus speak on that ancient man that is the marina the sailor started speaking and his eyes were so bright shiny and he started speaking so this is what we'll do today and i i'll see to carry it on next time thank you for listening and i hope you must have enjoyed it and you must have got some points out of it how to narrate how to understand it easily and we can look over it more thank you for listening have a good day thanks a lot